Today we are going to be looking at a tutorial specifically for people who made a player model from a model that wasn't from the Gary's Mod Workshop or any other source game. Like if you just grabbed a model from one of your favorite games or if you grabbed a model from a website or something, you'll probably figure out that, hey, my model has textures and these textures are probably TGAs or PNGs or some kind of picture file and then you'll realize that they won't load in Gary's Mod. So what we're going to be looking at is how to convert those check texture files into something that Gary's Mod can read. The program we're going to use for that is called VTF Edit. I'll probably do more tutorials on this program sometime in the future, but I'm not entirely sure. Now the first thing I want to emphasize is that it is very important to make sure the texture files are named correctly. Now I'm not going to be going through where to put the texture files and all that because um, I showed that in the previous tutorials of how to make a player model. Uh, this is just for people who have already rigged their player model and they want to get it into the game but the model's textures are not converted to a source format. So, Alright, so the textures for your model need to have the correct names for the different parts of the body. If they're not correct, they will not load in Gary's Mod and they will be purple checkered and screwed up. I'll bring up an example of that. Here we are in Blender. This is a model of a Global Agenda character that I uh, ported from Global Agenda to Gary's Mod already. And what we want right now is to figure out what the names of his material files are which his material files are basically what we need to name the textures after. Um, so over here in the materials tab we can see he has two materials, PSK mat head and PSK mat zero. PSK mat zero is all the textures that go on to his body. PSK mat head is all the textures that are applied to his head. Which means that we're going to have to have two textures, one for the body and one for the head, and we need to name them ex the exact names that are in here. Now depending on what model you have, you'll have you'll probably have either less materials than this, maybe you'll only have one material for the whole body, or maybe you'll have a bunch, I don't know. And there are a lot of different ways about going going about messing with the materials. But most likely the textures that came with your model that you that you downloaded from either a website or you it ripped from your favorite game or something. Uh, most likely the textures will already be named accordingly to their materials shown in Blender. I am just going to now show you how to convert uh, picture files into VTF files, which are the format of picture files that uh, Gmod uses for textures. So we're just going to X this out. Alright, so the program we're going to use for this is VTF Edit. I've already stated that before. Uh, the download link is in the description. It's really easy to download. I'm not going to be going over how to do that. You just want to download it for whatever type of computer you have and extract it under your desktop with some kind of um, zip file opener like 7-zip or WinRAR or whatever. So I'm going to open VTF Edit. So the two textures I have for my uh, third-party model that I just showed you in Blender are already here and they already have the right names. PSK mat 0 for the body and PSK mat head for the head. And they are TGA files, which means that if we were to put these in the texture folder for Gary's mod, it would not read them and it would be purple checkered. Um, it'll be purple checkered, missing texture all over the place. So we're just going to grab one of these and drag it into VTF Edit. Don't mess with any of this stuff. It's just um, <laughs> basically a bunch of settings for people who know what they're doing. And we don't want any of that, so we're just going to ignore it and click OK. And there's the texture for his head. So um, you don't need to change anything in here. Uh, I'm just going to go to File, Save As, and make sure it has the exact same name as last time, PSK Met Head. And there we go. We now have, P we now have PSK Met Head as a VTF file, which means that Gary's Mod will, in fact, be able to read it. And we're just going to do the same thing for the PSK mat 0, which is the body texture. Alright, so file, save as, PSK mat 0. 
and there's PSK map zero on our desktop, and we can put that along with the head. All right, so now we have two texture files for the model. They are VTFs, which means that Gary's mod will be able to read them. But if we were to put that in the texture folder as it is right now, it would still be purple checkered, and that's because we do not have VMT files, which means that um, they're basically coding files that tell the game where the textures are located. So to do that, what we're going to do is we are going to take the VTF files that we just created and put them in the appropriate texture folder for um, our model. All right, so I'm in my Gary's Mod add-ons folder now, and the correct pathway for the textures for my global agenda guy is materials GA med. And so th this is where his textures are supposed to be, but they aren't. So these are the textures that we just created with VTF edit, and we're just going to paste them in here, and there we go. Now what we need to do to be able to um, use them in Gary's mod is we're just going to drag them into VTF edit again. Yes, I know, we already created them into VTFs, but you'll see um, what we're going to do. So this is the texture that we've already converted to VTF, and we're just going to go to Tools, Create VMT File. You don't need to mess with this. It will already be set to the right thing. You just want to go to Options, and under Shader, we're just going to do Vertex Lit Generic and uncheck translucent, otherwise your texture will be see-through, and click Create. And just don't change the name or anything, just save it. All right, so now on our desktop we have PSKMAT0 VMT, which is different from VTF. If we were to open this VMT in VTF Edit, you will see that it is coding, not textures. So this is basically telling the computer that this is the texture that is supposed to be loaded for the body and that it is not see-through and that it is a regular generic shader, which means like it's not shiny or anything, it's just regular. Now this will work for the body, but we haven't done it for the head yet, so we're going to drag the head into VTF Edit and do the same. Create VMT file. Don't mess with that. Change this to vertex with generic. Uncheck translucent. Create. Don't change the name. Save it. And drag the VMT into the correct texture folder for your model in your Gars Mod add ons. And there we go. So now we have PSK Mat Head VMT. PSK mat 0 VMT and PSK mat 0 VTF and PSK mat head VTF. So now your textures are completely converted to the source texture format, which is VTF, and now it should be able to be used in game if you put it in the correct folders for your model. And like I said, I'm not going to be showing how to do that because that was in the how to create a player model tutorial. All right, so this has been uh, converting texture files to the source format. See you in the next video.